Okay, after lots and lots of stress, we're packed pretty much. Um, I ended up having to double stack my blue containers for now. Um, yeah, I've, I've been had a really busy afternoon, so I haven't been able to catch you guys up on things, but everything's pretty much packed. When I stop and get fuel, I'm gonna air up my airbags to bring the back of the Raptor back up to a good height. And um, yeah, everything else, the whole front of the trailer. So my neighbors, my neighbors, my neighbors are quite literally screaming for attention. So I think they're gonna miss me. Is that what it's it is? Time to leave, go, uh -huh. go, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my neighbors are homeless. I just hang out out the front. Uh, nah, it's good. I'm all packed, so can't wait. Don't you keep bike? <laughs> yes, thank you. Got you. your bike. Yeah. And your bike. So, <laughs> yeah, we've uh, got Boston's old bike and then a bike that was better off going to the Cape than the tip or trying to sell. So, it's an amazing bike. So, it's not a bad, yeah, no, it's not a good bike, but it's good enough. And we're going to take it up the Cape and we'll see if a crocodile eats it. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright guys, you won't be able to see a lot, but technically it's the very first day. We drove out to Toowoomba this morning, uh, last night, and basically everybody's here now. Patrol, 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 ranger, another patrol. You're outnumbered, nissans yeah. for the life. Yeah, look, we are, but you know they are talking about how there's all those rough roads. Yeah. And I was like, IFS. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> we'll see how smooth it is when we get the PDR. Hey, it'll be beautiful in that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so no, nah, we're pumped. It's very, very early, and it's very. I think we. I think we just like added to the trip by staying in the coldest place possible before we went. The Thanks bum crack of the oh, world makes it, makes it worthwhile getting up into the warm. That's for sure. Oh, <laughs> I'm very like. Are we stopping today, or are we just going straight through the cans? <laughs> like stopping, straight up. Stopping somewhere right. warm. So, all right. So this was on negative 12, and then when we got here last night, and then I uh, turned the car off. It's now on negative 10. <laughs> I lost two degrees <laughs> by having my fridge turned off for like 10 hours. <laughs> so, definitely cold here, but yeah, we're getting everything warmed up and ready to go. Good start to the trip, bonnets up on the Raptor. <laughs> Nothing to do with the Raptor though. Um, the new CB I've just had installed is not working, but I haven't changed anything since it worked last other than mucking around with the brake controller. Um, we think it may have just tripped a fuse, hopefully. So, yeah, what have we made it? 10 minutes so far? Yeah, about 10 minutes. Bit of a fuel stop. But we'll be alright, I needed fuel anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What, what's your story? So, first breakdown, we haven't even made it out of Toowoomba yet. It's not yeah. a breakdown. We're simply oh, accessory fitting. <laughs> Come on. We're, we're all just, prepped. You've got three yeah. doors open. I will we're people. just Thank finishing you, the accessory install. <laughs> all right, but I will admit, there's Daddy. one, two, three, four patrols, <laughs> and Daddy. we're good to go. We'll see I'm how many are left at the end. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Luckily, the Rangers are dual caps. <laughs> <laughs> He spent too much money on a um, Raptor and then the factory stock Ranger works perfectly. Hey, this will work. Um, so quickly, we'll run run you over the cars. What, TD42? Yep, fully so, built TD42. Really freaking sick looking GQ Ute. So GQ Ute, fully built TD42. Love the colour works, so good. Mad touring setup. It's the same as his buggy. He's yeah. got a buggy same. Yeah, I know. I was tempted to buy it off him. I'm still tempted. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. We're not gonna have any problems. Humongous winch. High yeah. mount. Like literally high mount, fast winch. So yeah, we're getting out of everything fast. TD42 as well. TD42 standard, big ass lift. Had a shit ton of work done on it just before we left. Yep. Big. Have you got a matching? Has he got a matching tire on the back now? Or? <laughs> Oh, he finally did. Okay. Finally. Sweet. Boring. Regan's. Boring. Keep moving. Work Keep car. moving. Boring. <laughs> yeah, it looks exactly the same. A three litre <laughs> patrol. 4.2. <laughs> Come on, mate. I'm a big boy. I can really handle it. But you got little wheels. I have to have something small. I think Regan's are bigger than yours. No, they are. No, we're the same. They, they are definitely bigger. I'm going to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> so another 4.2. And then we got the Rolly Boy. The 5.9. 5.9 Cummins, Cummins diesel. Um, 
I can literally hear it over mine. <laughs> like when I'm driving behind you, I'm like, what is that vibrate? Ah, oh, it's Benny in front of me. You can hear him from kilometers away. Yeah, straight up. So and you reckon you've got sway bars in it now? Yeah. Oh, I admit, it's so Dude, nice I've looked at you under your, I could see under your undercarriage already. Mate, if so. it doesn't have sway bars, it's very stable for no sway so bars. So does that mean my radio didn't work? Yes. Yes. So this means There's flyer. no power to the back of your GME. So Matt, you're up. <laughs> yeah, you've got to meet us up at Emerald or somewhere. Yeah. You have to give him a call. Emerald, camping grounds. We'll meet you there. Yep. You just want to come fix it. Throw the point. dad's camper on. We were doing the cape now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think his wife yeah. with a newborn at home and the other kid. Probably. Not so much. Not so much. All right, so now yeah. I'm going from the nice flash radio that doesn't work <laughs> to a handheld. So yeah, the most, great the start. most expensive UHF. It's not even turned on. It works. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The most expensive GME to yeah. the basic one. Yeah, well. We'll get it fixed. Oh. When we smoke, let's get it out of the yeah, cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Hitting the road. And, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going. We're hitting the road. Oh, I gotta pump my. Not good. Yeah, what have you done? Yeah, and all of a sudden you've Broken engine mount bolts. So like, like, the old 6 PT is a bit too to much for the patrol. And, also, and he's, he's actually off. broken off three? All three engine mount bolts. All three engine mounts of bolt, bolts have snapped on the engine that go to the block. To the block, from Jesus. The, from the block to the engine mounts have completely torn out and snapped off clean. So torn out as in yeah, like it's no come thread. out a little bit and it's torn the thread out of the edges on the oh. edges and then it snapped the bolts off. Oh, so, so the thread's gone as well. Uh, Most of it. We should be able to get the bolts that are snapped off in, run longer bolts through the block and we should be sweet. But we're going to have to get it from here to the next stop because we can't do it on the side of the road. There's a small town up here, That's what but I'm very small. We're going to ratchet strap the motor up so it's straight and we should be able to limp it to the next town and then we'll go to there and we'll fix it from there. Bugger, we were making good time. We were, we were going to make it past Emerald. We were, we were making exceptionally good time. I think we're going to stop at Emerald now. I, yeah. Well, my, my other thing is, is like, what time is it? Like time wise. 12, 12.30 now. Yeah. But it's an early hour. Yeah, hour. What time's everything going to close? Being a Saturday, yeah. yeah. Should be right. Yeah. So, yeah, concerns. We've had our, technically our first breakdown, unfortunately, Benny's car with a big 6BT Cummins in there. 
just a heavy motor man so broken the mount bolts so we'll hopefully sort it out I'll keep you guys up to date right so let me paint the picture we broke down a few k's out of town and uh, we've towed into town now and one of the boys has found a place with a forklift we're literally going to use the forklift to lift the engine up to where we need it and uh, get his engine in place it's awesome I love this country Australia and we're actually in an amazing place I won't be able to show you guys or I probably will actually there's like an amazing like cliff face range right there really cool town um, so I don't know man loving it this is all part of the adventure we're gonna get it sorted out we've got some nuts and bolts and uh, yeah remember guys every five dollars spent in store goes in the running to win the AU Falcon drift car or daily whatever you want to do with it and uh, you can get these so get Benny boy <laughs> So we're going to get them sorted out, but let's go and have a look. Hopefully they don't mind. How's it all going? Good. Good? Yeah. So Ironically found a workshop. Yeah, so Benny welded three nuts to all bolt all the bolts in there that were snapped off. Undid them all after a few attempts. And then we've now just lifted the end of the side was of the gearbox any, up. Was there any thread pulled out? Or no, it? threads are all okay. No, thre yeah. yeah, threads are fine. So sweet. Yeah. So we're good as gold. You put some decent nuts in yeah, this time or more Mitre 10 nuts? No, no, no. <laughs> we actually went weak up. Decent ones. We found a welder. Like a eight. welding guy. We, Apparently we, he can weld. They were 10.9s. We've gone down to 8.8s. <laughs> so they're actually weaker bolts. Let's see if weaker. 8.8s. 8.8s. They're lower than 10. 10.9s are high tensile. 8.8s are high steel. We had them in the last one. Take some out of your bead locks for fuck's sake. Yeah. If you want to pick on his bead locks, there's, there's a bolt. No, missing. I saw one missing. Huh. <laughs> Out of his brand you? new one. Mm. Huh? Out of his brand bolt. new wheels, yeah. missing bolts. Did you snap it already? You snap it and put it back in. Uh, <laughs> Mechanic. 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 How are we, everybody? Give me an update. All uh, yeah, three yeah. bolts are out. We had to weld them in place, got them out. Easy enough. Three bolts are back in. We've had to readjust it a few times to get the motor to sit in the right angle, but she's all good. We're just going to put one bolt through the whole lot and start her up, and she's good. Luckily, we have a mechanic and a boilie because we needed to weld it yeah, and he is to fix it. Filthy. He's absolute filth. Yeah. That's how he is every day, though. So, big thanks to the boys in the background. Um, letting us uh, use. Well, we didn't end up using the forklift, did we? No, we used the jack. Well, we used uh, we used everything else. Okay, yeah. Um, so luckily, random town popped in. Good old Aussie country town helped us out. So should be back on the road any minute, and probably realistically, a bit over an hour repair, which is not too bad when you're travelling across Australia. Lives. 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 Yeah. Now we're just going to try and get it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some local knowledge while we're here as well to uh, find some places to camp. We are still going to go past um, Emerald and head further up north. So, yeah, keep you guys updated. So camp is all set up, we've chucked a hoop, got everybody in in the area. Um, what can I say, today was a good day. Only one kind of significant breakdown, but not really. Um, it was definitely bad, but not a showstopper luckily. Um, yeah, I don't know, we're gonna kick back now, have some drinks, maybe get a fire going, and uh, just enjoy being out here in the middle of nowhere. It's friggin' awesome, guys. and. Yeah, 
tomorrow is day two. Guys, welcome to another video. If you haven't already um, and you're joining us on this trip, think about uh, subscribing to the channel. Put up a lot of content as often as possible, generally daily. My voice normally does not sound like this, but yeah, 50,000 Ks on the Ranger Raptor on the way to the Cape. So we're pretty pumped on the way to the Cape now. We're heading to Cairns today. Had an amazing sunset this morning. One of the boys are coming up past me at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, man, we are absolutely pumped. I'll, uh, yeah, jump into some, um, some of the footage we've got so far this morning and keep you guys up to date with the shenanigans. Maybe you haven't watched yesterday. Yesterday got a bit silly with, uh, unfortunately, we lost an engine mount and stuff in Benny's car. Um, yeah, so we've got another six and a half hours to Cairns, so enjoy the trip with us guys. We'll, six hours uh, and 31 Yeah, six hours and 31 minutes. Get it. So yeah, we're heading and uh, keep you guys up to date. guys so some things have changed and eventuated on the trip um my mate sam is up at the cape at the moment and unfortunately he's uh broken some of his steering in his uh land cruiser he's 105 and he knew i was on my way up so he's hit me up about helping out with obviously getting him um getting him some parts and i mentioned that uh i know cody from sick puppy 4x4 if you haven't already uh, heard of Sick Puppy 4x4, uh, really good channel, up over 100k subscribers, really funny blokes. Um, but we're going to catch up with Cody now. Um, he happened to have a 105 steering box that we need. And uh, we um, just had to get some currency because these blokes like to get paid in beer because Australia. So we'll head there now and meet up with them and um, maybe get up for some shenanigans. Sure. All right. So we have picked up the contraband, which is yep. a steering box for Sam. I definitely have to. And the currency is Townsville. Yeah, currently. Currently. currency Townsville. Currency of Sick Puppy. So Cody from Sick Puppy. How you going, boys? If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. Obviously, funny buggers. So, yeah. So you're film, and you're up. filming an episode now. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not for Sick Puppy 4 4 it's for Sick Puppy Cody. Ah, for Sick Puppy Cody, that's channels. right, because there's Sick Puppy Cody as well. It's, yep. got, it's got all the things going on. Mm. I struggle with the one channel and you got two. So, I struggle with them too, nah, no Definitely. So he's building a house of sorts. It'll be good. Yeah. Check out his channel when it comes out, because it'll be funny as Should shit. Should be hopefully tonight. Oh, oh you're going to want to build it that quick? tonight? We upload something. No, nah, this will be like two days from now. Okay, well, two days back on Sunday, I should have had an episode up, which will be this one. Oh, wow. So, okay, so I brought him beer, and he's definitely going to need it if he thinks this is getting finished today. Oh, it's or is it going to be, you said tiny home, how, how tiny are we talking? Place. You just getting cardboard boxes? I'm, or? Thinking, I'm thinking like a bus or something. Where's the bus? Well, I'm yet to buy it, but I'm going to find a bus <laughs> or a donger or something like that. Let's not tell him I'm building Okay. Huh? Let's not tell him I'm a builder. <laughs> <laughs> I got beer. Do you want to stay for a bit longer? <laughs> well, we've well, got. We'll come back and do an inspection. In we've got another. We got another four cars behind us. We have got the manpower. No, nah, but we'll Sounds come back good. in a week and a half and do a, like a, a certified inspection. Oh, it better be up in a week and a half. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. At least something will be parked. It's done there. quicker than my kitchen, Regan. <laughs> oh, ouch! <laughs> ouch! That hurts. <laughs> 
it's all right. So while we're here, it would be rude not to check out the Beerbulance, which is uh, Cody's project that they did on the channel. I think you did, they did a chassis swap and all kinds of stuff, but here we go. It's literally called the Sick Puppy 4x4 Beerbulance. So nothing too crazy and exciting, but it does have a driving range for golf on the roof. You're fairly shit at that, yes. to be honest. I'm yeah, very, I'm very shit at golf. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, do you want to show me a few of the features if oh, people that haven't seen the channel? Well, it's not. It's pretty much a mess at the moment because I haven't been using it. Oh, that, that's fine. We'll see. We'll see. That's oh, got cool opening things. Because cool, you did um, a cab swap, didn't you? Yeah, cab and chassis because this was a stat write off. Yeah. I got ripped off with it, so then I bought a new, whole new cab and whole new chassis and just pretty much swapped all the parts over. So I had a. Yeah. The surrogate vended or? Yeah, surrogate bin. Yeah. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah. You ever done that? I'm going to find that out soon. <laughs> so painful. Add next extra six months to your build. That's how long it takes for him what? to get you. You wanted stuff. to get your car done before oh, the Cape. Jesus, <laughs> maybe I should start that process. No, yeah. Just don't tell them, just use any bin. But, um, yeah, it's got like texture coating all in the door jams. Oh yeah. Because it was obviously a different colour, you had to do something about it. Yeah. And all those emu wings. Emu wings. They're rad. Oh, this That's is a cool. thing where you've been getting people to send in stickers. Yeah, so a bit of, bit of fun have, for um, the boys. They send me a sticker, I'll throw it up there so that way they yeah. can see it in all the episodes. Yeah, I should have brought stickers with me. <laughs> I didn't. Terrible. I was actually going to hit you up for a hat because I'm due for a new one. Oh. Tiana flies up. Yeah, to, yeah, we'll be able to bring you some back down. There you go. Yeah, mad. So but yeah, it's um full emergency service vehicle. So that would go down well. That would go down. That would go down well. Oh yeah, I know they'll be watching my channel. Copyright. Oh my god, boy, it's just got the subwoofer. <laughs> my god, the airshares will love this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting used as a um. A transport car, right? Pardon? It's getting used as a transport vehicle at the moment, Ooh, so it's yeah. got a bit of um. I like the tailgate idea. Yeah, they're sick. You can That's get them for our tailgate. Yeah. Well, I don't have a tailgate, man. I have a canopy on the back. Well, yeah. <laughs> I reckon it's bad battery. There you go. That's sick. I think you've got a so, sticky. You can rip. Hurricane Fab. Do you want to? Uh, I need one of these. I need a bit of this. I got a whole box of stickers, man. All right, Bubulance sent. Obviously, we've done the driving range. And then it has the thing that makes oh you got pointy dude this is a hot boy car. Look at this. Yeah I've got the pointy wheel nuts. Bit tuna. Yeah. Absolutely. Full on. I bought them from my HQ and they didn't fit and then I found out they fit this. Had to put them on there. <laughs> 1.5. What are um the Holton? No idea. Oh they didn't yeah, fit. Definitely didn't fit. <laughs> Probably a bigger one. Um custom aircon. Custom I'm not aircon. sure if you've seen that one. Did you see that? Oh no. Oh, it's like it's an actual yeah, 240 car, volt aircon? Because the car hasn't got aircon yet, so I use a power pack, plug it in the aircon so I can have aircon inside the car while I'm driving. Townsville problems? It's, it's freaking hot here, man. Yeah, no, it is. It's beautiful. Um, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It is. All right, what an absolute pleasure meeting those guys. Again, if you haven't checked it out, guys, Sick Puppy, or Cody Sick Puppy on uh, YouTube. He's got his own channel. Um, we're going to tee up with those guys and uh, do something on the way back. So look forward to that episode in the near future. But uh, we're going to motor on to Cairns now, catch up with all the other guys. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Steal that footage after. <laughs> so this is the Fink's breakfast. Daddy, there's something and the zombies out. inside. Slide it out. Slide it out. Pull it, pull it out. Okay. Welcome to day two. 
Day two of the vlog, guys. Good job, bossy. Um, wifey's here, as you guys would have just seen, because she finally had the courage to film herself, which is good. Hopefully, we'll get more of that in future vlogs, guys. But um, day two of this particular video, day three of the trip, day one for wifey. Um, one of the boys is doing some jumping. What are they? Doing? What is he doing? Um, bungee jumping and possibly sky swing. And we'll see, we might do it too. So, well, we, me, I you. Don't want to jump. You don't want a bungee jump? Maybe swing. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? Scarlett wants a bungee jump. You want a bungee jump? No, I'm scared. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Pull it like you do at home. So we're officially on the road to our next camping spot this and this is no, an amazing spot we've stopped at. I'm hoping the camera's showing how like greeny blue it is. We've come from like down around there, people flying up there. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, look at that. And there's, some, and there's someone over there about to go fly. Oh yeah, they are too. Isn't that crazy? They're going to jump off the cliff? Yeah. I can't wait to watch them. Yeah. Now, I'll jump off the cliff. Yeah, he's a That's it, isn't it? start of the Dane tree um, ended up in last in here late last night so a little bit of uh, drone footage over the river there we stayed here absolutely amazing campsite getting ready to head out now had a good night last night staying here where exactly are we staying Benny uh, Dane tree river view or Dane tree like river view absolutely spectacular place to stay um, we had some electrical gremlins with the camper so hopefully that's all sorted out now. Just got to tighten up my bolt there because um, that came a bit a bit loose from all the travel we've been doing. Wife is now like officially here because you were here yesterday, but like 
Yeah. Alive. It wasn't really like a day yesterday. It was definitely still a day. Yeah, we did like an hour and a half of driving. But... Yeah. So first proper day of the Cape Man. We're super pumped, all the cars are getting ready. Pack the rest of our camper up and get the hell out of here and cross the Daintree River, which I'm really excited for. Let's French some stuff. Here you go, because that big one over there on the other side. Do you know how to use that thing? <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, look, a bit of maintenance on the solenoid. Muddy things. Yeah, a bit of water in there. So we spent all night fixing my car, <laughs> my trailer, and now we're doing more electricals this morning. So we had good practice on yeah. yeah, good practice on mine. Yeah, yeah. well, at least my, my stuff wasn't muddy. <laughs> yes. Just rusty. Yeah. <laughs> so got the what? What do you want? A stand-up fridge yes. for where? For there. For where? I don't know, put it somewhere. Do you just want to stand up fridge for camping? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. That one sucks. It's so... It doesn't, weird. it's just because I packed it, you know where nothing is and you're freaking out about it. That's true. And I'm lazy and I don't want to dig to the bottom. So, winch works? Yes, very much so. So we're playing a game, and what is the game, Andrew? The game is it's a little, little with a little unicorn teddy bear. Thingy? Yeah, there's a little unicorn teddy bear Shit, that everyone has to have at one stage. It has to go through everyone's car and sort of thing. But who ends up with it at the end of the day? So every time we stop, we every, get, it can go in someone else's car. But it, it has to go in like the front of the you, cab. You can throw it. Has to go the front seat forward. You can throw it through someone's window if you get it in. You're good. If it comes out, you've got to stop and get it. <laughs> you have, but. The consequence is if you don't, if at the end of the day, you have when we the get toy, to camp. when we get to camp yeah. and completely stop, if you have the toy, you have to do what Regan's doing now and walk out into the, the, the first creek crossing of the day. It's probably not difficult, but it's all good fun for us to have a little bit of a laugh. So every time we stop and we get in the car, it's just like you flip the whole thing upside down trying to find this toy. I didn't even get my balls wet. What's going on? They don't want to know that. Yeah. <laughs> and when we stopped before, it was actually really good because we got back in the car. I'm like, kids, did anyone come in the car? Because Boston and Scarlett stayed oh, in there. So we had security in the car. And Scarlett's like, only Nay when she wanted to see what I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, fun little game. We'll see how, how it ends up today. Yeah. All right, about to hit the first river crossing. I'm a little bit skeptical about the weight on the back of the car, so I'm gonna, only gonna go down to like 25 in the back. 25, probably 25 all round, I reckon. Should be good at that, I'm hoping. Our first couple of quick crossing with a camper. With a camper, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I definitely think we're gonna bring some of the cape home with us, though. You think we're not? No, I think we are. Oh, I'm gonna go this is the start of the crab track. We didn't hey, actually film this one. So you can put a crocodile on top. Oh, okay, so we're gonna bring a crocodile home. Show you guys.
first crossing done. Yeah. Happy birthday, Woo! Nay. Thank you. Good. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Nay. Yeah. All right, first like yeah. obstacle. Team? Yeah. Were you in low or high? Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that was, was that was tough. Egg. That yeah. was tough. Just everything. Everything. Yeah, your belly. Nah, dude, that's straight belly.
So I've done a mischief. Tried to fit Raptor in a non-Raptor friendly track as far as width, basically. I always get this problem, I'm too wide, but... So from what we can tell, it's just a D-bead. There's nothing there that I could have cut my tire on. So I tried to fit the Raptor up this track. That's your rim. And my rim, yeah, literally my rim's just digging straight into the wall. And then, yeah, D-beaded because the track's just simply not wide enough for me. The ruts are too skinny. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, Benny said maybe you should go around, and I was like, nah, 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 give it a go. I no, thought no. it was. When you go. Know. Hey. You gotta look for the little red. The little red. All right, oh, no, that, no, no. Um, that was interesting. No, wait. Oh, it just popped. Yep. You hear it? <laughs> <laughs> My bead just popped on. You reckon it's worth stopping and airing it back down? Um, maybe when. Showstopper. Showstopper. 
You heard it snap. It was pretty crazy. Oh, we, yeah, we heard it snap. We heard it snap. Yeah. That's why we were like, what the hell? That's why we all stopped and like, you all right? That's why we I said to Luke, I'm like, I think we just broke something. And yeah. then we went forward a little more and something else went. And I'm just like, yeah, we definitely broke something. It went bang. I thought, I thought, I thought, thought that would have ended up in here. I thought that's where that was going to look. And then yeah, something's yeah, punctured in there. That's you would think that that hitch is supposed to be out of the mesh. The chain, the rocker. Oh, the chain hit that. Oh, Can we actually, actually stop? Whoa, 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 go back. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. Yeah, pull the chain tighter. Come back just a little bit. Yeah. Um, we may need to. So, I don't know what you guys could see of that, but uh, we've snapped the trailer. The trailer hitch is... Yeah, so I still think we still need a rash trap because then all We've definitely snapped some things and absolutely no good at all. So this is a showstopper, I think, at the moment. Yeah, but I still think we need to have something around. Whatever force is on that, or we'll see where it, how it pushes. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. So yeah, we're gonna have to walk this thing all the way down the rest of the way. To be fair, this is like far too much of a track to be taking a trailer down, but yep. definitely done some damage to my new trailer already. But it is what it is, it's not yeah, a lot we can do about it. We're already committed. Oh. All that as well. Yeah. So we um, we're getting it down. It's just we're trying to make a plan on what to do from here. So we are getting it down. Broken. What's that thing? Broken. Two of the things at the back. Broken one at the front. Cheap caravan. Hey guys, crib be track. Careful, there's leeches. I just pulled a leech off my foot. Leeches? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Someone want to check me? So, yeah. <laughs> we are getting it down to the bottom, oh, no, and then good. from there, it's going to be real interesting. We'll uh, definitely work it out, though. We have uh, experienced boilies. Get it all welded up. So, now. As Mitch now, says. This is a breakdown. All right, we'll give this a breakdown. So, I've had a breakdown now. First one. Yeah. Because shit actually broke. We should get some welding instructions from Mitch. Oh, yeah. If you can step over, you can go. So, what are we going to do with stuff? So I believe we found a reason that I shouldn't have gone this way with a camper trailer on. There's literally road closed. <laughs> no entry, road closed. Because this is like a proper gnarly, gnarly track. And I dragged a camper trailer down it. To be fair, when we drove in, it didn't look too bad. But then it got stupid hectic. So yeah, yeah, you can put it in the back. This only calls for one thing, boys. CC. Cross the other one. Pop this open. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Hey yeah. guys, I think that's a good one. I know, but no, he threw it up. Oh shit, what the fuck? I got to really walk up. Jesus. No, Talk about a frothy yet. boy. Why are you surprised? The trailer right, was just. Can I get a drink out now? Yeah. I've been waiting. Yeah, the handbrakes are really good. Oh, okay. Copy, copy. Yeah. Yes. Right, so, we're now trying to hook the chain up on that so it's out of the way. Yeah, we're um. What are we doing? So, we're trying to get rid of, take the hitch off for now so that we can. Because we're going to run Nick ahead. And try we're and run that Nick ahead. Yeah. Try and. Barjar it. Try to either find us a new one or well get this one welded up somewhere. Um, and we're going to move that onto there so there's one less breaking point in theory. Because the point's already broken once, we're worried about the game. So, yeah, this is how you break down, this is how you break your shit. And we thought we were quite a bit further along than we are. Turns out we're like a fifth of the way that we need to go. So, yeah, so about to turn into a real long day. Huh? Yeah.
to be Lion's Den tonight for pizza. Yep, <laughs> Lion's Den tonight, so. Yeah, so it was but to be, be fair, stop, where the yeah. trailer broke well, and everything, no, we're gonna go to it, it wasn't too bad. Right. Like, it did I honestly thought this was through there. Mm. Oh, yeah. When you said we lost the trailer, that's what we wanted. That's what it sounded yeah. like. You, the crunch was like... Yeah. It, was, the fact it was crazy. It was crazy. Like, I thought it's in the trailer. Mm. And I was like, oh, well, it had little dits in it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> right guys, had to switch my other camera because my other one is full. Um, we stopped up the top of a range, we've been making, we're off the crab track now, so we've officially made the crab track, just. And uh, yeah, we're about to uh, head to the lion's den, I've put the word out online to try and get um, a new hitch or something sorted for my car, but uh, yeah, we basically just have to head there now and try and um, just baby this thing and make it. Fingers crossed we make it. Fingers crossed somebody can either bring us a welder or, you know, a new a new hitch would be ideal. I'm more than happy to pay for it at this point. Just need it fixed. So, yeah, we'll uh, wake her in. I'll chuck my seatbelt on and uh, keep cruising. Attempting a fix. Yeah. Attempting. So Benny's heating up the pin because we bent it on our uh, MacGyver on the side of the track. And now we're then going to have to weld the cast iron bracket together with a stick welder and the rods that are here. So this will be interesting. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, boiler maker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, apprentice, right? <laughs> Benny, he's, uh, he's using the old SIG welder, blazing some lines. What do you reckon, Fink? He's doing alright? It can't go any higher, guys. And yeah, we wouldn't be in the lion's den without this, would we? Alright, Benny's got to leave it here to cool overnight because it's cast, obviously. I didn't know that, but they're telling me that. So, yeah, I think hopefully it will be alright. Shibby. Yep, yeah. Shibby, I'll have a look. Looks Facebook welders, decent. yeah. Facebook welders. What do we do? Benny's just done for the little 140 amp. I, mean, I don't, I don't stick weld every day. Yeah, I no mate. Tickets for it like Wait. years ago. Big thanks to the legends at the Lions Den Hotel. Yep. Absolutely. If you ever up this way, stop in for a beer. Definitely. Stop in for a beer at the Lions Den. Throw some money over the till. We will, we will be. got to get the shot in front of the lion's den um if you didn't watch yesterday's episode go back and watch it man we literally broke the trailer off the car we've done a very very sketchy repair and we have welded up the cast but as you can see here it's already started to crack and yeah it yeah so we have to get about 30 k's i believe to cook down so hopefully we get to Cooktown and then we've got to try and find um, a new hitch. Um, whether I have to buy the entire assembly, like the whole, you know, this whole area here, or if I can just buy that. Um, yeah, we definitely need to sort something out, but we did make it here. Fair trek with how sketchy this was. Again, watch yesterday's episode, guys. I'm gonna get these uh, Lion's Den shots and find out why uh, Andrew's car smells like rubber. Pretty sure I'm just burning me fan belts. You're doing fan belt burnouts? Yeah, me, me AC pulley's a little bit loose, you know, yeah. but she be right. She be. She be. She be. All right, we're going at the shots and uh, mosey on out to Cooktown. So roughly 30 k's of driving on asphalt, but we definitely need to get this maybe, fixed maybe. before we get on the PDR because that would definitely, definitely not last the PDR. So fingers crossed someone in Cooktown can uh, have have the parts we need that's all yeah that's like fingers crossed all right guys well, we did make it into cooktown all good got fuel aired up and 
we have found a place that sells hitches. So we've gone for an upgraded hitch, three and a half ton towing. Um, and it's just got a mick hitch, so it, it swivels and twists and everything. Instead of being rubber mounted like that and having this dodgy setup, this literally just bolts straight on and goes straight to a uh, regular tow hitch and will get us going. So we we'll to change that over, be safe as houses. And uh, yeah, I should have swapped over to one of these hitches to begin with, I guess. That's what I'm hearing anyway. So we're gonna have it now though. So everything's gonna be good. We'll uh, show you what we need to do. And face it down a little bit. Yeah. All right, so we're changing the entire friggin' hitch. I think Luke's probably said, we uh, went overkill, or well, Luke went overkill. So, two and a half to three. Again, boys, ideally need to find some grease for it, but we are looking much better than we were before. That's for damn sure. So we need to hurry up and get out the way of the uh, get out the way of the fruit shop because they're about to open. Little bit of driving under our belts. What are we doing? Going to clean the water. Yeah. To... Found a little water crossing on the road, so gonna pull up and have a dip because why not? Alright, careful boss, that'll be slippery. It's beautiful out here. Wow. Swimming. Well, why that... can't we get the swimmers out? Oh, oh. yeah, because they're in the pants. Yeah. Come on, bossy.
Next stop, where? Han River, uh, Han River Roadhouse. Hey. There's not a roadhouse here though. It's a little one. There's a little one? Yeah, tiny. So I've got some bread. We're gonna go feed the local emu. We're finally getting into the areas that say crocodiles, beware, all of that sort of jazz. Wifey is getting set up for curry sausages. Yeah, um, yeah? the crocodile's down at the creek just there. Okay. There's two. There's yeah, so there's a four meter two. croc and a two and a half meter croc. So I said, you know, be very wary when you're down there. Um, beautiful campsite though, really nice. Um, Wi-Fi as well, so I was able to get a video up for you guys tonight, which you would have no doubt watched already, like two videos ago, or a video ago. Um, what else? Pump their airbags up a little bit more in the back of the Raptor. Today was uneventful, not a huge drive, a lot of dirt. Yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't <laughs> filming that, but a tree, a humongous branch fell out of a tree, just missed the back of Benny's car and landed directly in front of us. Luckily, Raptor and trailer all have really good brakes. We pulled up on a dime. How, you weren't that close, were you, Nick? No, but I saw it drop. I thought Benny hit it. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it hit, I, that's out. what I thought. <laughs> but I think it already fell and it nearly yeah, hit it him. Nearly kept him. It was about yay around. Yeah. So right it literally was right, right across the road. I actually, actually had to stop oh, yeah. and pull it off the road. Yeah, the so, um, yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go see the emu. So just teaching the kids about the ant hills and how sort of just liken them to uh, giant air conditioning towers. Pardon? Archie said, let's go see the emu. We oh. need, need to feed it. Wait, oh. Daddy! Can oh, I have yeah. a toast to feed? Oh, look at all the duckies too. Oh, do you want to go feed the duckies first? No, you're yeah. going to feed them bread. Oh, bread okay. Faster. Okay, we can't feed the duckies. We need to see if we can find some seed or something. And there's other kids over there. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. You're on little pieces. Mm -hmm. He's cute. Maybe it's a she. Good. That's very nice. Too big. Too big. And he likes the smaller bits. Yeah, just go up there too. Like that. Okay. I like their heads. It's a peacock. Oh, hey, he's on my finger. Oh, yeah. We're not allowed oh. to eat those as a kid. Oh, Flatten down, haven't really gone up too much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Where are we going? Kangaroo. We're going to go feed the wallabies. Are we feeding the wallabies? <laughs> we are. How cool I'm, is this going to be? It's going to be so fun. It is, isn't it? You've got to be super quiet though. And my name's London. London. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, Scar. Boss, sit down. Oh, this is a party. How cool is that? Like the man who comes in. Most of the How cool is that? Here we have a wild peacock. Maybe it might put its tail up if we're lucky. Oh, how beautiful is that colour though? You probably can't see it on film. It is absolutely stunning. No, okay, I'm scaring it. I'm gonna back up a little bit.
<laughs> you playing ball? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see after them? <laughs> Send it, dude. Ah, oh, big skid. Oh then he just nearly rolled the patrol into that patrol, but it got saved luckily. Um, we're still having power issues with getting decent battery into the camper and we can't work out whether it's the camper itself, the batteries in that, or the Raptor isn't charging it enough. So we've gone to solar on top of the camper for the day. So the camper is gonna have just solar running to it and yeah, hold on to Yeah, I'll pass them up. Oh. Yeah. Hold that one towards you. Oh, I think it's late. Doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, these just run a bit lower. That's fine. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Put, Dad, put, Dad, put, it, put my sticks in there. All right, did they come out last time, did they? Yeah, they fall down. Right. So yeah, we're gonna fill up with some water, get rid of our rubbish, and get back out on the road. Oh, some things oh, going on. Like smoke. All right, we're gonna get ready and go. Definitely some uh, red dirt on the uh, cars now, so we're doing it. Oh, and I put a bit more air in the um, rear airbag, so um, it, it's sitting a bit nicer. All right, guys, we're making pretty decent time. Um, we're heading towards the Frenchman's track. I had a water crossing. Let's hit this. <laughs> Hold on a sec, I'll get the GoPro out, hold on. Don't let yeah, him put any shit in my car, yeah. Alright, so we are on... I don't know what the track we're on actually now is called, but yeah, a few water crossings. We're heading towards Frenchman, so... <laughs> Nick wants to hit it with some pace by the looks of it. So I'll get a bit closer. No snapping things around the water looks so good but i'm not gonna go in it so nick and the gu find it up Good. Get onto the tracks now. We have made it to the turn off to the Frenchman's track. A bit longer than we thought. A little bit looser than we expected it to get with the boys we're with. But yeah, we're finally here. Hit the Frenchman's track. Hope you enjoy what you see from here. It's definitely gonna be a good one. See how the old camper trailer handles this. It's been, it copped that big track on the Kreb a few days ago. So yeah, we'll see how it goes on this one guys, but uh, it's gonna be a cracker.
you got metal coming out. Bye. Oh, yeah, now it's a big old. <laughs> oh, no, bro. What did you do? I might need a lift of the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to go breaking that again. No. Yeah. Oops. I'm trying to keep across, it's so hard. Bloody Raptors holding up the track line and come on! Bloody Jesus! The Ranger figured out which limit. <laughs> My trailer fell down. It's so hard because the Raptor's so wide to get myself in a position where the trailer's not going to fall in a gigantic hole, given the ground gave way. I was on the right line, like you said, <laughs> yeah, but the ground were. gave way. So we're going to run a snatch block across to a tree and pull it across, and then I should be able to pull it forward. I just want to get it because it's sort of wedged. Oh, it's well wedged. It's just stuck on that bank there, and I can't go forwards or backwards, but if I come across, I think then we can go forwards, hopefully. Yeah, I thought you were going to be the anchor. No. Three, three. Yeah! If I can, we'll be safe. That's just from doing the dishes, just saying. Yeah. Go for driving with the camper, they said. It'll be fun, they said. How cool is this? This is awesome. It's a shame idiots are throwing cans down there. Yeah, I just saw those. Other than that, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So good. This is absolutely stunning. Like over five foot deep, um, and it's gone a bit fast. We've got Benny coming down the hill any second to see um, That is easy, this much deeper, just one step right there. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the depth, and then it goes shallow again, and then it goes deeper again. See, well, I think you need to stay up on there with the right wheel. It looks shallower over there. Get some big rocks. Like where the trees are, and see how it's got that... You can come down and see. Oh, wait, you can kind of see in the camera. Yeah, so you can see the bottom there. Let's get This one, I'm going to see. Yeah, it's right, cool. 
Yeah, yeah. to the left a bit more. So, yeah, you get up to the left. And the camper, that's all I'm stressed about. No, nah, no, nah, camper's fine. We'll just hook a rope on stay, and... Stay, like, stay here. Don't go up there, otherwise you will hit that rock. Yeah. yeah. So, mate, the way you're going now, I think unless it gets any deeper, I'll go across. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> did you fall or did that get deeper? He fell. Are you are you lying? Oh, I fell. So you're looking there it's the whole way. Not, it's like I fell. That's what I see. You need to just like that. So what am I going with the rope on? I also just found out that there could be crops in here, so that makes me feel a bit. Worse. Well, do you want to hook the rope on? Back of my car with yours and I'll go. Well, I don't think you'll need it. Alright, you sure? Like it is fast lower. That's how fast it was when we went through last time. And I thought my dad's disco through it. I mean, I've never done that day anywhere near, but yeah. I mean, I don't really have that much of an issue. Kids might be going. Second gear low? Uh, I got plenty of torque down low. Yeah, yeah. Really, really down low. Okay, fine. Like first is crawl or crawl. Like first gear's um, Andrew's fucking reduction block. Yeah, I think everyone 
everyone will be right without widgets, to be honest, unless someone gets stuck, so. you down to your feet? Oh, I'm only on 27. Oh, dude. <laughs> because your husband's yeah. stuck. <laughs> maximum effort! I want maximum scaredness to go away. I, I want maximum scaredness to go away. Yeah, I know that, but like when someone goes, oh, I got through, you kind of like, man, I'm still fucking scared. Yeah, Puppy! Hi! Well, you definitely got its attention. you went through with the front right wheel it would have been dead level get the rut went down
All right, guys, we made it to the end of the Frenchman's track. My GoPro ran out. I didn't get to film the last Wenlock River Crossing, which was pretty epic. We went through some other crazy water. I didn't even yep. know what. Um, we were actually quite ahead, um, just because I decided to get ahead quite a bit, just because getting stu through stuff with the camper trailer was hard. Camper trailer definitely sustained some damage today. Um, some of it possibly could have been avoided if I wasn't pushing it as hard or whatever. But yeah, we, we made it to the end of the track a good 45 minutes before all the other guys and they are literally just coming up now. So epic, epic day guys. We're heading to Bramwell Station, pumped. Let's go. I don't really feel like this going tonight. Wait. <laughs> Situation breakdown. You're just coming up here. Uh, broken CV. How? Yeah. Uh, pulling you backwards while winching. Oh, yeah, it's maybe <laughs> just winch next time. Yeah, maybe. You got this big dick winch and you <laughs> tried to yank me. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> no, it didn't. You stopped and then winched and got me out. <laughs> Boss. Nick, what have you broken? My driver's side indicator is in about 15 pieces. My rear locker line is somehow in two pieces. <laughs> My power steering pump is possibly about to die, or it's the bearing, or it's just a belt that's loose. Um, so did Frenchman win, or did we beat Frenchman? Well, we I'm still here. Beat it. I'm yeah, here. We're all here. We're all here. We're all here. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely fucking won. At I mean, a cost. Oh, I lost the wheel. I lost the spring. And it crashed. Oh yeah. yeah. And I fucking pierced the tire. Tire. <laughs> Yeah. Those razors are rubbish. The wheel may have been my fault. I've seen so many of those razors cut. Yeah, why just did you have to say, oh, it I looks know. like next wheel's going to come off? I had the hardest time. I had the hardest one. My tail light fell off. <laughs> like, oh. oh yeah, still <laughs> harder to fix. I just had to fix a little bit of trailer. Oh, yeah, no, I just flipped the back on. It was too good. Oh, no, I just got my tail light rubber. I went fixed and walked off. What's the other Nick done though? The other Nick. He, he, he's oh, shocked. Actually, my worst today was I hurt my ankle. So I don't know what I've done to my ankle, but I, I, well, I know I twisted it really bad. I'll go and see Nick. I know that there's drama in the area. Where's Nick? Oh no, he's under the car. That's always a good sign. We can right. find his head. He speaks from his head. <laughs> How you going? What's the story? Uh, look, took the uh, turn off onto Bramwell Station where we're staying, and uh, about 5k out from camp, my bottom shock nut decided to come off and then bend my um, shock shaft. So we straightened it out, and it's back in. Bend shaft, huh? Yeah, it'll uh, it'll get me going, but yeah, it's not going to be nice from here on out. Oh. So. Not so, too bad. Has a epic trucks all day and then literally bends a shock, pulling into camp essentially. Um, I don't know what else. I think everybody sustained some sort of damage. Regan copped water in his airbox along the crossing. He was super, super lucky not to uh, hydrolock his engine. He His airbox was full of water and he was like the first one through the crossing. So that could have been really nasty if his car didn't make it through. So. Um, but it seems to be fine now. We're gonna seal up his airbox better. He was under the understanding that it was sealed. It isn't, definitely isn't, completely full of water. So yeah, we need to sort that out. Benny's doing a CV. Mine, the car itself seems to be fine. Um, trailer definitely sustained some uh, action today. Um, water actually got inside it. So a little bit of water got inside. Um, you know the drawers and basically a little bit of water got in everywhere including into the main cabin area and made one of our sleeping bags wet um so that's kind of annoying it's meant to be sealed so yeah yeah it's don't know. but i'm gonna fix them all up i don't know what i'm gonna do about my ankle i'm just gonna nurse it um <coughs> pussy oh no it's bad
Oh, thanks, mate. It's all right. You're taking too long. There's a big but line up. The friendly field. mechanic. I'm on holidays now. Blue hair was going to do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is the old Telegraph track. I'm super pumped to get on this track. I've watched the videos a million times. I'm just so pumped to get on this road for myself um, and with the boys and just pretty exciting now. So, old Telegraph track, fill up with fuel. All the cars need fuel, so fill them all up, fill mine up with diesel. I'm still having power issues because I'm gonna go see if they sell any batteries in here. Um, don't know, that's all I got to say so far. Fuel is not cheap. Isn't it? It's $2.05. Lucky she's paying. Lucky right, she's so paying. officially on the telly track, arriving at, I believe, our first river crossing. So pretty pumped. Someone should give it a go. Someone should really give it a go. Uh, you should tuck up against that tree a bit there because you might slip in. That's pies. So we're at Palm oh, Creek hey, now, hey, and this is a big <laughs> drop in. So way bigger drop in than usual. Um, so yeah, we'll have to take a different route. That's why everyone's they're stopped they're and having a look. Yeah, they're going over there. That's yeah. Pen! Pen! Look at me! Pen. That way. Straight! Left! Off the pen! Straight! To the left! Straight! Left! To the two many! Yeah, I'm with an approaching wall. Penny, go through! Pen! Go! So, Benny's through. I really want to take the trailer off and hit it.
All right, so what are we like an hour later? It's the next day. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the next day. Been sitting in traffic jams that are worse than Sydney. Um, but we're at the bypass track that apparently is pretty gnarly as well. I'm not going to have any outside clips for you, but give it to wifey and try and give you an idea. The door boss. Or you can hold on to this. Break a tie rod, haven't I? It's on my phone. Oh. Oh, it's not a tie rod. Nah, no, you've done a bead on that side. Oh, oh thank God. Uh, I told you guys to hold on. I did. I did hold on. Oh, I did. I did. Didn't want to get stuck. This is the other side of the gnarly track. Oh, that looks somewhat like a nice time. Pardon? I got it all on video. Oh, you did? Awesome. Yeah, that's um. Yeah. That looks like a mudslide. Yeah. Yeah, I think a big tree on the other side. Any as other well. damage? Um, just more dirt in the bead on that over there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, another crossing now. <laughs> Big angles on the way in. I think we're going to do a big wheel lift right now. The right then, front is going to come up. Because we don't oh. do a trailer stock. Oh, there we go. And the camper is on a completely different angle, which is hilarious. Is it? Yeah. We're this way, we're this way, and the camper's that way. Oh, it's coming. This oh, is that a root sticking out? Oh, the camper was definitely in the trees then. So we've done a mischief in the middle of nowhere exciting but tried a bonus line and it didn't work out um 
completely diffed out, bellied out, sandied. So we're going to do a rear winch, well, pull off the rear. Pull him back, hopefully pop him off his belly. It's not suctioned or anything, I don't think. So. Beautiful. Come this way? Yeah, I'll move this way. I'm good. You good? Hey, it was a bloody good try. Oh. Somebody! Oh, no. oh, this makes me so nervous. Yeah. I'm not gonna have shoes. Again. Really? Look. Did anyone tell Luke that? Look, my shoe's back on the left! Yeah, actually. Lucky, that's cool! Yeah, that's cool. Oh, it's back in the water again. Oh, that's a good wheel lift. Yeah. Yes. Archie, look at that flex. It's not much. There's heaps. Thank you. That's all good. Just pop that one on the bank. Just pop that one on the bank. I'll try and find the other. Thank you. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, I forgot about the firewood. Oh, shit. He's down there. <laughs> I can't believe he just did that. He did really well with that. He's getting very confident uh, forward driving with the camper. Wow. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's honestly a bad And you picked up the front one too. It says a lot when the ranger goes down the big hill and the 79's up at the top on the chicken track. <laughs> We might have to move forward yeah, a bit. Hit, hit them forward. Six we might have to move forward a bit. Wait. Wait you have to, man. If I bring you like up where I'm standing, up this bank to make that turn. Oh, Regan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got to the trailer to be able to view it. You guys video. camping with us? Yeah, mint. Oh, the body got on that car. Oh, 
Yeah, good hey. Very decent set of cars. Oh, we need to keep, can we rip them? Oh, yeah. Car? Love our patrols. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Barrett, you yeah, are. Right, oh, okay. Yeah. Go straight. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh he's not. Barrett, Barrett, look at us. Not that fucking road, you idiot. Right Go straight. 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 Put him up there. Put him up there. Right out there for us, Barrett. We're going to run out of room, otherwise. Dude, your tyre was hanging off the edge. It's so aggressive. Hold it straight, boy. On the green one, yeah. Probably going up here a little bit. Pardon? Looks mean. Yeah. Is yours the white one? Yours has heaps of flex. Yeah. Heaps of Yep, come straight, mate. Yep, come straight, mate. Dead straight. Dead straight. They're wide. That back wheel. Yeah, go that way a little bit. <coughs> Gotta keep those back wheels on. Alright, come right up here. Get yeah, up here, up here. Oh my god. Awesome. <laughs> I got the sweats. It's just, it's some of the old bridge down there. And it is held together by a few epoxy ropes and struts. Not even the whole thing is together. Far out. The stinks. Not us. No, didn't have a shower. Oh, that's not good. Thank you, sir. We're currently stuck <laughs> in a mud pit. I thought it was going to fall all the way over for a sec. And we are going to get pinched out. Ugh. There's mud. <laughs> so, so squishy. This is the camper. They told us to go that way, but those guys were stuck, so we didn't do that one, we didn't do that one, and Luke's like, go this one, which is one they told us not to go in, because there's a good chance that the trailer was going to drop in. Wouldn't you know it? But, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty stuck, and it is going to make a lot of mess. Ugh. We have a full rescue crew. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I can't wait to take that through Nolan's and get it cleaned up. <laughs> oh.
All right, so we've done that line, and this is new. My steering wheel is completely loose, so not too pumped about that. So we will try and uh, see what that is. I'm guessing that didn't do up the steering wheel tight enough when I had the steering wheel changed. So yeah, that's come loose. So I'll have to back up, um, yeah, head into wherever we're going and see if I can get all these plastics and airbag out of the way if I even can, to be able to tighten my freaking steering wheel up. That would be great, my trip ending, because my steering wheel came off.
cheese is. Go, 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 go! Oh, good catch. Oh, fuck. Nate! Get a car back. Get a car strap. Well, you can take this normal cover off as well. You get more force. Andrew, stop! It's a car. It's coming. that uh, myself and Benny went through early because that's getting real soft down there. Um, real soft. Okay. Um, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hook Fink up straight away. I wouldn't muck around now. Go. Yeah, I'll have a go with that. <laughs> oh. My heart is racing so much. About to watch this oh, happen. Hey, coming! Hey, coming, Barrett! Hey, coming, Barrett! Isn't Barrett worried about his dick free, though? Well, I'm fresh yeah. out. Well, now you pull attention, you're going. Right, do the road. Uh, no one else. No one else. I don't want that sand in anyone's hand out of the water. Alright, right, Benny, out of the road, bud. Okay. When you, shut up! When you're ready. You shut up!
In, go, go. Nice down. Oh. Go, go, go. He is floating. He is full floating. Open your door. Open your door. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that bad. Only a little bit of water. He was if the you, only Nissan that didn't make it through. If, if you have a scout around, you might find some Nissan parts laying around. There seems to be a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, some you know, parts. it's just I didn't. It's just I didn't feel like using my chairs, so I, I removed them. You got a fair bit of water up there, buds. Where? It's dripping off the aerial up there. Yeah, it's gonna come out. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! Oh, make a knot in there! Make a knot in it! Make a knot in it! Barrett, make a knot in it! Make a knot! Whoa! Whoa. 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 Stay in your car, stay in your car. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Everyone out of the way. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Whoo. That got intense. Stay on the brake. Go! Get out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way. Drive, mate, drive. Open your doors. Open your doors. Open your doors. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. Language barrier. Language barrier. We stop off camp. We stay our way. Go, go, go!
Hey. Not a drip. It's all in the doors. Good, good feels on that one. Yeah, tell him to drop in. Keep going. Keep going forward, you're right, man. He's got that, he's got that. Nah. Right, go, 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 Go forwards a little bit. Forward Just drive forwards slowly. Yeah, slowly. Keep going, mate. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold Whoa. it. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. Welcome to the next day, guys. It's the uh, Cape Trip 2021. We are about to cross the Jardine River. We left Nolan's Brook. Regan nearly rolled like first obstacle out <laughs> oh, of the place. The so sand was soft. That was very soft. Very, very. I had to like wait down the side of your car, and I got up it reasonably easy. Yeah, I, I was I, really worried about putting the trailer on the side again. I think the width. I so, think it was down the width of the wrap. To be honest, that probably helped it a lot more stable. No, we haven't. Uh, um, yeah, I think the width definitely helped you there and the weight of the trailer maybe holding the back down. I don't know. Interesting though. Yeah, so we're about to cross the Jardine. Tiana's just run off to go pay. So pretty excited to get across this and um, head up to Loyalty Beach. Guys, I'm not entirely sure where we left this video when we were last talking to you because we've been here at Loyalty Beach relaxing. Big night last night. But, um, big night. We've got mechanic here, but we are trying. I've actually been able to get reception now and I've spoken with a Ford engineer and basically just gave it to him. Obviously, explained that I wasn't stoked on the whole situation and then asked, you know, if we are to fix it, how, what's the situation with warranty, everything like that. So he's told me to fix it or told us to fix it. Just yank the steering wheel off, he says. Not an easy job by any means on a Raptor. We're just trying to get the basically what we're trying to do now is get the airbag off. Um, car's power has been disconnected for all night, well, all morning, sorry. So we're just trying to find. Yeah, basically how to get this uh, airbag off. Once we can get the airbag off, in theory, if nothing else is wrong, we should just be able to tighten the wheel and then put it all back together. But it's, um, yeah. I wish the person that put the wheel on just did it properly in the first place and we weren't in this situation, but here we are. Which way did you pop it? I just gave it a good push. Okay. Yeah, let me pull the wheel at the same time. Yay! Woohoo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's get a big fucking big ass socket on there and dug her up tighter than they did. Ogga dogger the shit out of it. Yep. Done deal. Oh wow. It's like completely loose. Oh wait. Oh, dude. We're so lucky, like, I'm so lucky the airbag actually held it, my steering wheel on. 100%. Because if my airbag was to pop loose, if, if that would've my come, wheel would have come completely if off. If that would have come off, that airbag was getting deployed. That's oh, how close it was. Yeah. That's why I was like, it's not yeah. safe. Okay, it was, yeah, because it would have yanked them. Oh, yeah, it's been rubbing on the cables on the airbag. Yep. Yeah, wow. Super dangerous. So. Super dangerous. Thanks, Ford. Yeah, well, obviously let them know, because that's an issue. That's a, that's... That's not Bad. an acceptable issue. No. That okay. is definitely not. Alright, we'll fix get a it now. Big ass socket and fix it. Done deal. Done Put deal. The steering wheel. 
Since that steering wheel has been replaced and fixed, no one's actually put more Loctite on this. Ah, oh, and look, it's not a spline on the Ford wheel. No, it's a, wow, hex. hex. So, that's why it was so sketch. It was why when you were tying, it was moving. Yeah, uh, it was moving. I'm not used to a wheel getting loose and moving that much. No, normally when they get loose, they're a spline. So you get yeah. a little tiny bit of a shimmy yeah. and that's, you're not super stressed. It's, yeah, so if you see, So, so you don't reckon when they put the new wheel on, they haven't put fresh? No, there's been no Loctite on that at all since they put the new steering wheel on, I reckon. Yeah. So, what am I going to do? And you are a mechanic? I'm a diesel fitter by trade, so Loctite and the fuck out of it, rattle a gun the shit out of it, and then I'm going to use my pry bar to make sure she's tight. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Then we can go back to and wrap the things, because I don't have the trailer on today. Well, that's what, you're going to take us to the tip, and we're just going to get there in two minutes, and then two minutes back. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Again, guys, because I don't, by any means, you know, the Raptor doesn't come without its flaws, that's for sure, and um, I, I don't think everyone, definitely not everyone has my experiences that I've had with the Raptor. Um, you know, transfer case, I actually have heard of a bunch of people having the transfer case issue that I had, and a, a bunch of people that have had front diff issues. So, they're the similar issues that I've had. Um, I think it's just, unfortunately, I've been on the rough end of some of the... Uh, servicing side of things so although the services on my car have been done properly it's just that uh my voice probably wasn't heard as good as i'd hoped at the dealership so so that's fresh fresh a butt ton of loctite on that bastard and, and that ain't moving no more wobbly wheel i feel sorry for the ford person that has to take that back off because it ain't coming <laughs> off <laughs> Like mad industrial, is it? It's high tensile Loctite with uh, 130 newton meter rattle gun to put it in now. I'm about to put my big breaker bar on it to make sure it's tight. All right, let's not break the bolt. <laughs> oh no, you should be right. <laughs> should be, <oop. laughs> I haven't even got changed yet. Nah, that's tight. That is not moving. Yeah, that's not going nowhere. Nope. It's the ginger, ginger tick of approval. Got my tick. <laughs> now just to put all this back together. Wait, does this class as a breakdown? No. Oh damn it. It's a minor minor uh <laughs> mishap. <laughs> right. Alright, so I can't remember whether I told you guys or not, but late no, I haven't filmed it. Late yesterday, unfortunately Benny chewed up his box. Literally killed the output shaft yeah output shaft. output shaft on his cummins powered patrol which is like pretty much n not a real good situation because this is toyota country um for the most part so finding nissan parts is difficult um but uh yeah we've managed to find uh, another box you just we just have to go rip it out now we're ripping it out now I'm gonna chuck in the back of the raptor head back to camp go to the tip ha you know do the whole tourist thing and then come back and get stuck into changing the box in Benny's car and by like yeah they are they're gonna do it yeah I, I gotta look after my kids and he's got a console I'd, yeah console. do something film 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 it for you guys so yeah bring us but tools no. bring, we need yeah, it yeah exactly there yeah, you go bring us the tools oh yeah but, jeep wouldn't want to have a jeep up here god no god no oh we're going in here yeah what some absolute freaking gems is that a vt oh, oh the that would have been a taxi disabled taxi all right so we're in the wrecking yard we're having to use i'm going to use my winch and literally winch this patrol on its side to get the box out so it should be good it'll work fine hey benny hold on Oh, it's just as fast. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Cross members out, two more bolts on the on the gearbox and that'll be out. But for everyone that says you can't buy muffler fluid, 
Look, you can. See? <laughs> Muffler fluid. It is a thing. Not just for apprentices. So, a couple more bolts. And what? You'll end up dropping that cross member or just leave it on to the uh, back? The cross member's a little rusty, so we'll you probably... take it off the box there, though. Huh? But we'll probably use it to lift it into the car. Yeah, yeah. And we might be taking it with us and then we'll... When we get to the other end. Yeah. Alright, so we're getting there. Job. Woo! It's out. Now, let's take it back, go to the tip. Go to whose tip? <laughs> Someone make it. <laughs> Someone make it. Hey T. Daddy! We made it! <laughs> and I just want to go swimming in there, but there's like at least eight deadly things in there. Australia. So yeah, we have made it to the tip of Australia. We're pumped, man. It's um, been a long time coming this trip. Pretty friggin' almost emotional, man. I'm pumped. All right, where were we, Benny? Before my battery died at a critical time. <laughs> Well, we have what do we broken got? box. Broken, broken import shaft box. Is, wait, where's it break? Where'd it break off? In there. Yeah, a nice year. Yeah, and that should be no here. No good. Yeah, obviously. Um, good cross member. Yeah, that's the one that's going back. Good in. cross member. New box. The oil in the new box looks good. That is a positive sign. And look, this so, one has shaft. <laughs> Yeah, this one has a shaft, and I believe we're going to use the transfer case that came with it. Yep, maximum. because obviously there's a shaft stuck in that one. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, we've used spare set of 35s to lift the car up. It's all kind of adventures here, and the plan is I don't know. I had, are we staying another night? We're not, we're not sure. Tonight. Might be staying if another go, night. If this goes no. in easy tonight, we can do some more cruising, some adventure, and go do some travel. We can do all those Absolutely. things anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even yeah. if we Definitely stay an extra night here, we can do these things. I'm pretty COVID, confident we're COVID's staying COVID's reared its head. We may as well stay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty confident we're staying. We want to get pizzas from Punson Bay, isn't it? Punson Bay? Yeah. Punson yeah. Bay. Punson Bay. Bay. Yeah. Wood pie so, pizzas. unfortunately, uh, COVID, this video is like two weeks behind. Um... So this all happened two weeks ago when COVID was a thing. So, you know, you guys have probably already been through it. Hopefully it hasn't got any worse, but while we're up here, the limited reception we had, you know, are basically Queensland's back in a shutdown. You need masks, everything. Hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, everything's far better and not worse. So who knows at the moment, um, if it's worse, I wish I stayed up here. <laughs> If it's not, then I'm What's glad to be back home and uh, <laughs> drifting at the drift park. So, no, nah, we'll get this uh, under control. I think the plan is to obviously try and get it all, all yeah. done tonight. Well, we can, uh, I do need to sleep up there, so. Yeah, well, <laughs> so we may as well get it back in for the most sleep part. sleep up there. It won't yeah. be a very comfy sleep sideways. Yeah. But the main thing is he's normally up there with his, his stepkid, his, his missus' head. 
and uh, three of them up there in a little tent. Uh, so uh, the young fella stayed with us last night, so at least he had no, some no, sort of relief. <laughs> <laughs> this will probably go in a lot easier this time. Two. Count three. One, two, three, lift. Wait, but the box, the engine's not tilted back anymore. Is that going to affect? No. Why is this not coming in? Swing it back over. All the way. Mm. 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 Yeah. Hey, yeah. let, let, let it down. down. Hey, you that motor tipped? Isn't the motor tipped? No, it's what it said the fucking <laughs> bottle jack came out when you. It's still up in the air, man. It's still heaps. Is it? Yeah. We just need to get this bit here. Where up. was that pushing? See this bit here. We just need to get that bit around there, and we can go up. Ah, <laughs> you fucking dork. Twenty-eight. All right, Benny. What time did you finish up? Last night. Yeah. Oh, about 12.30, after a few noise complaints. <laughs> <laughs> so, the GU's back in action, all the old junk out of it. Obviously, it still ran, but he's driven it like forward and backwards just a little bit. This is its first technical drive. We'll see how she goes. See how she goes? Hopefully has all the gears. The Did you at least give it a little thing in each gear to see if it had movement? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Uh. That's a view. Oop. Third. Oop, reverse. Okay. Yeah, we good. Lots of gears. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright. See how it goes. Pretty pumped we got this car working again. Moving on around steam. All right, we have gears. We are now heading off to dinner at a place called Punson Bay for a uh, wood fire pizza. So I'm pretty bloody excited for that and a wicked sunset. It's coming. Come on, CC, we need a. Guys, on to the next day now. We're just uh, in the line waiting for the ferry. And unfortunately, someone has locked their keys no, in a brand new Hilux just before the ferry. That would suck so bad. Uh, you just cleared your ass off. All right, finally on the way to Elliott Falls and Twin Falls. Pretty pumped for this one, I tell you what. Kids are hella excited. Oh, Boston just took a digger. Go on, let's go have a look. So cool. So cool. Yeah. Oh, it looks amazing. <laughs> Careful, stop, 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 stop. Dickhead.
no good. This is no joke guys, you definitely don't muck around on this road, that's for damn sure. filmed but we basically just hightailed it down south plan was to hit a bunch of waterfalls and stuff but then uh, we've had a lot of weather and all this COVID stuff's been pretty hectic um, we ended up um, breaking up with the group because a lot of the guys had to get back early and um, <clears throat> because of this COVID situation that's going on at the moment there's been a lot of like you know stress and anxiety from a lot of people you know because at the end of the day when this stuff's going on people don't have jobs and obviously people stress about money and everything else like that and being away like we were you know is sort of the last thing a lot of people think about but uh we did get here with the raptor and trailer I ended up losing the lid to my freezer um because i had been storing that in regan's car i put it on the back of the raptor the friggin lid blew away so that's the end of that um I'd had it for quite some time anyway, so it's not the end of the world there. Trailer, everything, Raptor, had been have been running perfect. Absolutely filthy. The only real damage on the Raptor from the trip is like an inner guard liner. And my last mud flap has finally died. Other than that, Raptor's good. Couple little scratches here and there, as you'd expect. Um, couple little scratches on the bull bar i'm sure i'll find more once i wash it all off but that's you can't really do anything about that you're going to cop a few uh bush pinstripes from a trip like this um where did we come to we came to mission beach um got a ended up getting a hotel because the rain had been so bad you can't tell right now because it's beautiful and sunny but uh we ended up getting a hotel or a it's got a resort it's not very much of a resort but it still does have a beautiful pool we and swimming we're in at a room today. just over there. So literally we have a room just outside. Um, well, have a pool just outside of our room. Kids have been swimming all morning and we're about to go out to a cafe. Oh, look at this, Boston. What is, what is it? Look. Grasshopper. Oh, I see. Look at him. Oh, wow. I thought that was a leaf. Yeah, it looks like a leaf, doesn't it? Hey, it's a grasshopper. Mm. Oh. So yeah, we'll try and get you guys, keep you guys up to date with what we're doing. I just hadn't picked up the camera because it had just been like drive, drive, drive the whole time. So very intensive, but gonna enjoy Mission Beach. We're here for two nights. We've already stayed one. And then we're gonna head down to Townsville. We're doing a swap? Yeah. Let's go. Boss wants to swap the drink. Wait till you see what you get for this. All right, guys, we're back home in uh, Brisbane. So I don't know where I got to as far as the trip went, but we ended up uh, going to uh, a few different places, Yapoon uh, being a really nice one, and just spent a lot of time on the way back relaxing and uh, took our time getting back. Didn't film it, it was just family time. So yeah, I wanted to wrap this one up just before I go. We're home now and our 
splash back has all been put in so i'm pumped about that and i uh, hope you enjoyed these cape vlogs i'm definitely going to be doing more touring and more fall driving now that the raptor's all sorted and we have a camper trailer so that's going to allow me to do more fun stuff so yeah peace out guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog peace